morning. Today I want to speak to you about the AN SPN Spin 43 radar set. This is a radar that we have here fully put together. Uh, the guys that work in my team, Shop 67 and Tennis Shop, uh, put this together over a period of about six to nine months. Uh, the set here provides air search uh, support for the Navy, used on CVN, LHA, LHD ships. And uh, the guys I'm gonna introduce to you today, Mr. Ryan Curley, Scott Riley, Josh Brickhouse, Andrew Selby, have all helped in putting this together. Hi, my name is Joshua Brickhouse, and I'm Shop 67, four for your apprentice, and uh, I worked on the 43 this time. The mechanical part of it, and the first time I, when I came down here, I worked on the electrical part, and I wanted to uh, work on some other parts to get a better feeling for it. Uh, this is the gimbal. This is actually controls some of the motion of the 43, how it uh, pitches and rolls, which is how it moves with the boat and to keep it perpendicular with the boat for its use, and basically works has the actual shaft that goes in this area in here with some bearings. And pretty much it just shows like minor movement on the 43 and it holds the uh, Y support up top here. Uh, this is the actuator. It's connected to the gimbal. And actually the shaft here does all the work. And if you see it, it goes down the center part of the actuator and there's a bunch of ball bearings in here. This spins up and down. It actually moves 43 up and down with the ship. It said, uh, comes in a pretty rough shape, so we try to uh, give it a good paint job. Like I said, the main thing is uh, keeping things greased so all the moving parts move freely. That way, the, uh, keep the uh, Navy uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm uh, Scott Riley, I'm the work leader down here in the antenna section. Uh, we're going to discuss our uh, teardown and prep procedures for 43. When these things come in here, they've been on the ship for 8 to 12 years. They're kind of tired. They're uh, oxidation, dirt. So we, we tear the whole thing down. ID, we have to ID each individual component, make sure when we send it off the blaster, if we do it inside, that we get every component back that we've taken off and we know where it goes on the equipment. It all, get, all leaves here, goes to blast, except for some of the smaller components which we do in-house. And then from there, once they come back, they're all raw. We have to treat them in our iodine treatment tank. And then from there, we send, it off, uh, we send that material off to paint. Once we get it back from paint, then we're ready to start our reassembly. And from there, we hand it over to our guys. We start all the mechanical assembly and our electrical work. My name's Ryan Curley. I work at Norfolk Naval Shipyard as an electronics mechanic for Shop 67. And one of the things that we're gonna talk about today is the Spin 43 radar, which is uh, right behind me, finished unit. I was going to talk about some of the things that I work on, some of the components that go onto the Spin 43. One of these is the data gearbox, which we have here. Uh, another aspect is the, all the cables and wiring, which we redo. Uh, what this does, there are two of these boxes on the 43. Um, what this does is it contains synchros and limit switches, and all the wiring works together to stop the 43 from rotating too far. Uh, it moves forward and back and from side to side out on the ship and we don't want it going past a certain angle so we have limit switches set up. Uh, we refurbish this whole thing, we replace all the gears, um, clean them up, we put two new synchros and we redo the wiring harness with a new connector, new cabling and we replace all these uh, switches. Uh, one of the other things that we do is put all new cabling through all the components for the 43. We order brand new cables strip the outer jacket off to expose the wiring, strip the wires, and insert them into these pins, which get crimped down, and they get inserted into new connectors. This is the junction box for the Spin 43. 
This is the point where all of the cabling and power coming from the ship is routed through here to all the various components that need to be powered on this system. Uh, when a, the 43 comes in, we take out all the old components from the junction box um, and have all new wiring and all new connectors as well as new switches here. And using uh, wiring charts and diagrams and all new uh, equipment, we totally rewire the junction box. Um, everything is kind of wired from he starting here all the way around. We just go through and do one, one connector at a time. And then uh, when we're done, we do various tests to make sure that the wiring is complete correctly. My name is Andrew Selby and I work in shop six to seven. I overhaul and rebuild the high speed and low speed transmission for the uh, SPS 43 antenna. Uh, this antenna runs off of a electrical motor that spins 3500 RPMs. And then this gearbox which is called a high-speed gearbox, reduces that down to 1,800 RPMs. And then from there, it's reduced even further down to 500 RPMs. So this is a low-speed gearbox, and it reduces it down to 500 RPMs per minute. And this, in turn, spins the 43 antenna uh, to go round and round and round. Uh, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn this on so you can see just how this gearbox high speed and low speed transmission work. 